You think about a company like Katera. Katera is a construction startup that has attracted hundreds of millions of dollars from investors who are betting on them. And their strategy is to be a one-stop shop, a designer, a supplier, and a builder for construction projects. And I, I understand the strategy, and I'm watching them closely to see how well they execute on the strategy, but I'm conflicted because I'm curious as to how realistic that strategy is because construction is extremely complex, it's local, and it's specialized. The reason we have subcontractors in many trades working on projects is because they have the specialized skill and knowledge that is necessary in order to build a quality project. So working with project partners that you trust is absolutely essential. Now, how do you build trust with your project partners? First, you have to give trust. Let me give you a practical framework for how you can give trust. Number one, be slow to get angry. Number two, be quick to listen. And number three, be slow to speak. This is one practical way that you can build trust with another person or give trust to them. People are going to make mistakes. When one of your project partners blows it, don't immediately impute to them evil intentions. But make sure that you are slow to get angry and you give them the benefit of the doubt because you're going to get into a conversation with them about why that mistake happened. And in those conversations, you must then be quick to listen. So when someone's made a mistake, a project partner has blown it, get on the phone or drive out to the job site, get face to face with them ideally, and let them give you their explanation. Let them explain to you why this mistake happened and fully listen to what is being said because you know how it happens. This happens all the time, right? An incident occurs, you jump to a conclusion, that's natural and normal. You then try and figure out what actually happened and the data that you receive and the information that you get changes your conclusion and you see that you were wrong about the conclusion that you jumped to. And that's why it's so important to not only be slow to get angry, but then quick to listen. And then finally, slow to speak. And those two things go together. Once you've spoken, you can't take it back. Now, I have a, a house full of kids and they're always uh, speaking to one another, getting into little spits and spats with each other. And one of the things that we're always encouraging our kids to do is to take the log off the fire. If you keep putting logs on the fire, the fire burns and burns and burns. And it's the same thing with our words. One of the best ways to take the logs off the fire and to dampen down a conflict and to build trust with the people that you work with is just to keep your mouth shut sometimes. So think through situations and keep calm before you speak.